What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mud and as many of you probably already know Games Workshop has released the uh, advanced orders for their Chaos Demons and I thought what better time than now to unbox an Orc Mega Armor Shoot a Scorcher Combi weapon Man, have you seen the new like plague bearers and a giant slanesh chariot? What does that mean? Ugh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, so these guys, Orc Mega Knobs in armor, their fluff is that they are the biggest, the beefiest of the knobs, and they get their way all the time and they always get the best equipment and they've gotten their docks and their mechs to or I guess their mechs more than their docks to put together a, like suits of power armor or like their equivalent of Terminator armor. Nobody knows how it works. Just using Orky technology, it works. But um, and I'm gonna be clipping away little pieces of flash as I see them. But yeah, look at all these little bionics, tubes and wires and sockets. It's like hammered uh, uh, plates, armor plates, just hammered together. These piston legs. It's just so awesome. Little clunky engine back here more wires and everything so you get a ooh, because these are the equivalent of or, or pretty much like orky terminators you get one of these bigger bases and um, this comes with a little peg in the bottom so you can drill out one of these holes stick them in if you have a pin vise or even with a, a hobby knife you also get this little metal gob for the jaw if you want to use them just clip this away. I usually don't like to use metal gobs because it's easier to see the um, the the orky face. But that's just me. Also, it, it's easier to, to paint them too, um, unless you add this like last. Let's take a look at the orky face right now. Ooh, he's got like a targeter on his eye. He's got a little skull on a spike because you know. Games Workshop, gotta have those skulls. And he's wearing an earring to show his rich status among the other boys. Is he wearing one on this side too? Yeah, I can't really tell. Bionic eye, targeter, that's so cool. He's wearing a ring on his nose, of course, why not? So, I decided to go with the Shuda Scorcha, the Scorcha Shuda combi weapon because um, I think it's a lot cooler than the missile launcher weapon. You get a template, you can get in nice and close and just template the template the enemy. Um, but with the new rules in 6th edition, I don't know how that's going to affect how much we take these guys because now with the power fist, once they get into close combat, um, they're striking, striking last, right? And there's so much about um, how dangerous it is now to have these guys, power fist guys, in your squads, in your army. I don't know, is that true? Are power fists going to go the way of, you know, what Plasma did in 5th edition? How they just kind of disappeared? Is this a, a logical step, or would you rather go with the missile launcher and, um... A chance to skyfire. The missile launchers have that flak missiles to them. I don't know, man. I I took a I took like one look in my in my sixth edition rule book and haven't looked at it since. So this is what that's gonna look like. And then on this side you've got the power claw. This little piece of metal here. And then here is the opposite end. Get some more flash. Let's back up a little bit. Oops, flash at the tips. Some of you might remember my Assassin's Creed model where I, in order to do a blood claw, um, 
kind of motif, I had modeled my orc in Mega Knob armor as a Deathwing, like in that creamy Deathwing color with some green accents, and then I gave him an, uh, a green stuffed hood to make him look like uh, Ezio Auditore. The time I think Assassin's Creed 2 just come up, so that was like the big thing. Or did I try to make it look like Altair? I don't know. I don't remember. Was it back when the first one came out? Speaking of Assassin's Creed, that new one looks pretty cool, huh? Takes place in the American Revolution. I, I remember before they had announced all those American Revolution pictures. Or the, this, you know... Yeah, they, um... The rumor... Like, there were so many rumors about where Assassin's Creed... Three was going to take place. So it was going to be uh, in feudal Japan with like samurai. But I like that they kind of made it in in America. America. I think it's uh, going to look pretty cool. Ooh, my air conditioner just kicked off. It's on a timer so my house doesn't blow up. <sighs> so here are the pieces. I just finished cleaning them. I'm gonna go off and uh, glue them all together and glue them to the base and then we'll see what it looks like when we get back. And there you have it, players. My orc Mega Knob in Mega Knob armor. I decided to build, build him and glue him up as if his shoot a scorcher is raised up like he's shooting a gout of flame right over the enemy and um oh a little bit more there we go like this and i decided to leave his metal gob off you can put it back on like this later uh, you might have seen the little skull on the spike i decided to just slap that on the top of his armor there but yeah great model I think, um, you know, just because of how heavy these arm pieces are, this model I'm surprised is not, these models I'm surprised are not in fine cast yet. Um, just because it seems like a lot easier than having to drill and pin the arms into place, which I did. Anyways, thanks for watching, players. Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video, and we'll see you in the next one.